Hey everybody, my name is Josh McKinney and we have something really exciting at Mission 111 that we kind of wanted to discuss and, and tell you guys about and we figured the best way to do it was for me to sit down with El Presidente of Mission 111, uh, Jennifer McKinney. Yes, we share a last name, we look a lot alike. Jennifer is my mom, but for the sake of this interview, I will be calling her Jennifer, don't get mad at me. And uh, let, let's just start with this. Jen, mom, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking, Josh. Son. <laughs> <laughs> are you uh, how, how are you feeling about this year's telethon? Are you are you excited about it? I am super pumped about this year's telethon. Just the amazing gifts, the talents, the the people who work behind the scenes, the volunteers, just all the things that the telethon will accomplish. So yes, super excited. I thought a good question to kind of start with you would be what what are some things that you can say were accomplished through Mission 111 because of last year's telethon and the money that was raised during last year's telethon? Wow. Do you have enough time? I've got all the time okay, in the world. Okay, great. No, actually, there are some amazing ministries and programs that have started already because of the awesome um, donors and what they've done. So we are starting a telehealth program, which will help provide medical support to the people in Haiti. We have started a discipleship program, actually a TAP program, where we are not only discipling young people, but we are going to give them opportunities to do or learn a trade, which two weeks ago, our sewing program started. Um, Man, we've got the REACH program, which is supporting a school of 550 kids, supporting their teachers. Most of their teachers don't even have books or salaries. So just those are just a few of the things, but there's so many more. That is huge. You know, something that I always hear about in um, different business books and just different things that I read is different leadership books, just how important it is to not just focus on big goals, but to kind of focus on the system that gets you to the big goals. And that is something uh, kind of commending you that I see that Mission 111 has done over the years is it wasn't just about, hey, we're going to raise this amount of money. What do we do with this money? It was, hey, we are going to build a, a system of all kinds of different things. So then when we find new needs, we are able to put our system in and not just provide food, not just provide health, but also uh, just provide leadership and, and provide so many other things. And that is so exciting. But that also brings us to one of the most important parts of our system, and that is our biggest fundraiser each and every year, and that is our telethon. So this year, do you guys, are, is there any special plans for the telethon? Is there anything like that going on? For the funds or for the event? I, I, I'm assuming that the answer is yes to both. Yes. So whichever one you would like to answer, you tell me. So the great thing about Mission 111 is that we value people and we love to invite people with different gifts to join us because we believe that everybody desires to do good and whatever gift that they have, they can use. And so I'm super excited about all the different talents that are going to be showing up. And the great thing about the telethon, Josh, you know this, is that I'm not even involved in it. It's these young people, these different people that come in and just put it all together. And I just get to show up and have fun. And that, that is, that's huge. That's so much fun that you have kind of built the system around yourself enough that you're able to stay, it, as the president of the organization, you're able to build off of all that but we're also able to kind of push off some duties to people like your son or your niece or uh, just all the different people that we have, Daniel helping on the telethon. We just have this amazing crew who's really our goal. Six months ago, we start talking about the telethon. We put this goal that we have because we know we have so much faith in the system that you and all the people around you have built. We know that all we have to do is provide this little bit of boost. All we have to do is provide this little bit of financial help for Mission 111, and then we know the system is going to take over and the amazing people at Mission 111 is going to take over. Absolutely. And so we are just so excited about that. When is the telethon? We didn't say it yet. April. Actually, this year it's on a Sunday, so we're excited about that change. Sunday evening, um, April 16th at 
starts at 5, 5 to 7.30, 8.30, something like I think like 7.30. 730. I think we went two and a half hours. They were like, could we, could we please, for the love of God, cut 30 minutes of Josh talking? <laughs> if we could just cut 30 minutes, we would make so much more money. And so we're doing yeah. it this year. Please, to anyone watching, please watch, donate as much as you did last year, donate more. So then they don't ask me to speak for those next, thir those extra 30 minutes. Cause we, I know you guys know, we don't want to hear me talk any more than I already do. And so, uh, uh, mom, is there anything you want to say to finish, uh, I, about the telethon? I do. So we always talk about all the great things, the ministries and the people that volunteer, but I just want to take time to even let our donors, the people that receive my email, the people that don't even know me and they give and support what we do. We cannot do what we're doing, the telethon, all these ministries. We can't do it without them, every single one of them, from the smallest gift to the biggest, largest gift. Everybody is part of this team and this community, and we need every single person to join with us and partner with us and help us and work with us because we do this as a, as a team. We, we really do. I'm very happy to be part of this team, and I, I think I'm pretty excited to, to see who joins us for the telethon this year. Me too. Absolutely. All right, Mom. Thank you. Thank you.